what up YouTube this is Jon Snow speaking from Jon Snow Sports and Fitness and tonight I'm gonna go over my final four predictions okay let's get started there folks in the first game between the Florida Gators and the Yukon Huskies I'm going to go with the Gators to win that game. And here's why. You see, as phenomenal as Shabazz Napier has been this year, and Ryan Boatwright has been pretty good, I just don't see the kind of firepower that's necessary to win and against a complete team like the Gators. Now, I know that UConn beat the Gators earlier in the year, off of one of Napier's buzzer beaters and I'm fully aware of his talent and capabilities but as I've been stressing all year the Gators play as a team they've got five starters that are capable of playing together and they play with really good team chemistry and move the ball really well not to mention they play great team defense as a really underrated quality for a basketball team to have. Now, don't forget, Scotty Wilbekin was SEC Player of the Year. He's been on a tear this season. I don't think he'll shut down Scotty Wilbekin, but I do think that he, not not Scotty Wilbekin. I mean, I don't think he'll shut down Shabazz Napier. But I think he'll do an adequate job defending him and make he's going to make all of his points very difficult. And I think he's going to wear out Napier. Napier, for him, for UConn to win, I'd say he'd have to score 30. And I don't think he'll get 30 against the Gators. I think he'll get 20, 25, but he won't get to 30. And we have the Gators have to limit Napier's playmaking ability in order to win. But I like the Gators because of the overall matchup. The Gators starting five is superior to UConn starting five. UConn has a superstar on their team, but that's just one guy. And against a team as talented as the Gators, they don't have enough firepower to keep up. Or the depth. Which brings me, so my prediction, Florida Gators over the Yukon Huskies. For the second game, which is the University of Wisconsin versus the University of Kentucky. This game, this game's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> wow, what a season it's been for Kentucky. Just a couple weeks ago, teams were calling them uh, not teams, critics were calling them the most disappointing preseason number one team ever. This was, might I remind you, this was a couple of weeks ago that they were saying this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any names and give away free advertising on my channel. I'm not gonna promote other people, but <laughs> these folks know who they are. But might I remind you, Kentucky has been on a tear. And I've been saying all along, if these young men get hot, you do not want to play them. And that's the situation that we're in. Wisconsin is a lot different than they have been in recent years. They used to be a grind it out, play defense first, physical kind of team. But now they've got a lot of talent and a lot of athletic ability on their roster. But, but, they still don't have the same athletic ability and athleticism, physical talent that Kentucky has. Not to mention, Kentucky's playing with heart, and they've finally come together as a team. Coach Cal figured it out. I don't know what he did, but he found a way to get through to his team, and he's figured it out. And they're playing the best basketball at the right time and they've got a good chance to win. I'll say, I'm gonna say right now, I'm picking Kentucky 
to beat Wisconsin and play the Florida Gators in the national championship game. Kentucky has way too much firepower for Wisconsin to keep up, and those freshmen have finally come of age. Coach Cal has done a really great job getting them together and having them play as a unit. Okay, so that wraps it up for today's show. Those are my thoughts on the Final Four, my predictions for the Final Four. This is John Snow speaking from John Snow Sports and Fitness. Subscribe to the channel for the latest sports analysis, sports updates, fitness updates, sports predictions, fitness advice for athletes, and anything related to sports and fitness. This is John Snow speaking. Peace out.